Is your website taking forever to load? And by forever, I mean more than 3 seconds? If that's the case, you need to boost your website speed urgently. Having a fast website is crucial for three main reasons. Usability, visibility, and conversions. Your visitors expect your site to load quickly. If it doesn't, they are likely to leave your site. A fast website also encourages visitors to engage more, click buttons, fill out sign-up forms, navigate through pages. The more your visitors interact with your site, the more likely they are to make a purchase, sign up for your content, or complete any other desired action. Lastly, website speed is a ranking factor for Google's search algorithm. A faster website ranks higher and gets more visibility. I'm Simo from SiteGround and today we're going to learn how to speed up your website in just a few minutes. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel with the button down below so you don't miss any of our videos. Alright, let's dive into it. How to measure your website speed. First, let's establish what is considered a slow versus a fast website. An ideal web page loading time is between 0 and 2 seconds. Anything over 3 seconds can cause you to lose visitors. In fact, 40% of consumers abandon a website if it takes more than 3 seconds to load. With that said, you might want to learn how to check your website speed right away. To perform a website speed audit, you can use free tools available online, such as Google Page Speed Insights, GT Metrics, or Pingdom. Simply type your site's URL, click a button, and wait for the results. You receive a detailed report with your website loading time, other important speed metrics, and suggestions for improvement. Now you have your website speed report, which will look something like this. You will see some things in there that don't really matter, just jump to the recommended section. This video will cover the most important data to pay attention to and how to fix it. Here's how to speed up your website with web technical tips. First, compress large images. Large images can slow down your website significantly. What happens if you have a website full of images like a photography portfolio? How can you speed it up? The key is to ensure that your images are optimized in both format and size. Before uploading any images, make sure to use the latest image format such as WebP. These formats offer excellent compression while maintaining high quality. Next, check the size of your images. They should never exceed the dimensions at which they'll be displayed on your website. You don't necessarily need to reduce the number of images if they're essential to your business. Instead, delete only the unnecessary ones and make sure the remaining ones are optimized for both format and size. If you already have images on your site and are wondering how to make them load faster, use a free online image compressor to reduce their size. And yes, a little self-promotion here, our speed optimizer plugin makes this super easy. I'll link it in the description below. Second, minify and combine CSS and JavaScript files. To further speed up your website, you can condense your code. One way to do that is to minify your CSS and JavaScript files. Basically, this will remove all unnecessary characters from them. The minification of your CSS and JavaScript files will reduce your site's code weight and thus make it load faster. Another way to speed up your files is to combine your CSS and JavaScript files into just one file. This will reduce the number of network requests a browser has to make, the browser will find and download everything it needs to render the pages more quickly. If you do this manually, it'll take you a lot of time and effort. Luckily, there are online tools, some are even free, that will minify your files. You just need to paste the code that needs to be optimized. Similarly, you can use an online tool that will merge JavaScript and CSS files for you. To further automate the process, you can also use a plugin. We might be biased, but we think the Speed Optimizer plugin is also a great option for this. Third, implement lazy loading. Your next step would be to implement lazy loading. This technique makes images and other resources load only when they're about to appear on the screen of your visitors, meaning they won't load initially when the page opens. Non-essential content will be deferred until it's almost visible, improving overall load performance. Be careful though, because this option should only be done for elements that are below the fold. Otherwise, it will slow down the rendering of your above-the-fold elements and negatively impact your website speed test results. 
One way to implement lazy loading for your images is by using the loading attribute in the HTML image tag. To avoid lazy loading for above the fold elements, you need to specify this when applying the code. Another way to do this is to use programming frameworks such as Angular or React to implement a more advanced lazy loading technique. If you're not that tech savvy, you can also use the free speed optimizer plugin for WordPress, which allows you to implement lazy loading for below the fold elements with the switch of a toggle. Number four, clean up your WordPress database. Here's another tip on how to speed your WordPress website like a pro. Make sure to clean up your WordPress database because they're the second slowest part of your entire system after the file system itself. You can either perform the database cleanup manually by first making an up-to-date backup, then remove unnecessary tables from the database. These tables might have remained in there from old, uninstalled or deleted plugins. Next, you can delete all post revisions that were saved in the background before publishing your post. Now that it's live, these revisions are no longer needed. By all means, delete all draft posts that you don't need, empty your trash as well. You can also hire a developer to do the more technical aspects of this for you. Or you can use the free speed optimizer plugin for WordPress that does a routine database maintenance. Number five, preload your fonts and other critical resources. All right, time for another tip on how to speed up your website. Fonts are yet another thing that the visitor's browser will need to load in order for them to become visible. They can slow down your website if they're too large or if the hosting server is too slow. To prevent that, you can use a simple proven technique, preloading fonts. In other words, load the font files before they are actually required. To preload your fonts, you can either do it manually by getting some coding help from a developer or use WebSafe fonts. Website fonts are pre-installed across various browsers. Alternatively, you can simply limit the number of fonts by avoiding using too many of them. Or you can again rely on the free speed optimizer plugin which allows you to preload your fonts. Number six, remove unnecessary redirects. What is a redirect, you may be wondering. A redirect forwards a visitor from one particular URL to another. Imagine you had to delete an old page and redirect it to a newer existing one. That's a classic example of having a redirect. Having too many of them can slow down your website because each redirect adds an extra HTTP request, thus delaying loading times. To prevent this from happening, you can use direct links, minimize redirect chains that consists of more than one redirect and regularly audit your website for unnecessary redirects. Eliminate render blocking resources. Moving on to eliminating render blocking resources. But first, what are render blocking resources? These are static files such as fonts, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files that need to be downloaded before a web page can be fully loaded. When a visitor's browser sees a render blocking resource, it will stop downloading the rest of the resources until these critical assets are processed. Until then, the entire rendering will be on hold. To check whether this is happening on your website, go back to your speed report and double check your largest contentful pane metric since it is focused on how long it takes for pixels to appear on the screen. If your render blocking resources are not optimized, your LCP metric will be higher. To eliminate render blocking JavaScript or CSS, you might need the help of a developer if you're not that tech savvy. Or you can use the free speed optimizer plugin for WordPress that will help you reduce your render blocking resources with its powerful front-end optimization options. Number eight, leverage gzip compression. Another tip on how to speed up your website is to make your web content files smaller. These include CSS, JavaScript, and HTML files. To make them smaller, you can use a compression algorithm. Some of the most popular compression algorithms include gzip, deflate, and brothly. Brawly compression algorithm, for example, is the next generation developed by Google as a successor to gzip algorithm, and it's highly effective. It actually produces up to 20% smaller files than its predecessor. For more in-depth information on how each of these algorithms work, watch our dedicated video on the topic. Check with your hosting provider whether they have any of these algorithms enabled on their servers. At SiteGround, we have the broadly one enabled by default for our clients. 
optimize themes and plugins. Now, let's look at how to speed up your WordPress website without needing a developer. The devil's in the details, they say. In our case, it's in your site's themes and plugins. If you've downloaded too many themes and plugins, which you're not using, they can significantly slow down your website. This can happen even if they're deactivated. How is that possible, you may wonder? Well, every theme and plugin adds code to your website. The more code there is, the more time your site will need to load. To speed up your website, simply delete any themes and plugins you're not using. Regular maintenance of your themes and plugins can also do miracles. Make sure that they're always up to date with the latest stable version available. SiteGround customers, for example, benefit from an automatic WordPress updates that take the risk off their shoulders. Our in-house tool updates both the plugins and the WordPress application with the latest stable version. All right, enough with the promo. Number 10, check if HTTP2 is supported. As a next step, check if HTTP2 is supported on your website. But let's first go over what HTTP2 versus HTTP 1.1 is. HTTP2 is the first major update since HTTP 1.1 since 1997. It significantly improves website speed and efficiency and is already supported by most of the modern web browsers. However, not all websites have HTTP2 support because not all hosting providers have HTTP2 supported on their servers by default. It is available and supported on all shared in cloud servers with SiteGround. To quickly and easily check if your website supports HTTP2, you can use Google Chrome. Visit your website in Google Chrome over a secure HTTPS connection. Then go to the Chrome Dev Tool with F12, Network, and then Protocol. It will tell you which protocol is used. For example, H2 means HTTP2. Note that if you cannot see the protocol column, just right-click on the header and check the protocol label. Use DNS prefetch for non-critical domains to prepare. This next one sounds a bit more technical, but put in simple words, DNS prefetch is a technique that improves the website speed by proactively resolving the domain name before the user has even clicked the link or resource. It reduces the time needed to wait for the DNS resolution. It's basically telling the browser that your users will need specific resources in the future, so you have it available when the user makes the request. DNS prefetch is usually used for third-party resources or links to external websites, such as Google Analytics or a CDN. To set up DNS prefetching on your site, you should implement it in the head section of your website in your HTML file by adding, for example, the following code for a CDN. Remember that you can always get help from a developer if you're not that tech savvy. Number 12, enable caching. Next, let's discuss how to speed up your WordPress site using cache. When someone visits your website, it takes time for the hosting provider to bring that data from the server to your visitor. But with caching, a copy of your website data will be saved in WordPress, and when a visitor comes to the website, the copy of the website will be served to them. This technique significantly reduces the time it takes for a website to load for its visitors. Check with your hosting provider whether they have a version of a caching enabled on your website. At SiteGround, for example, we've developed an advanced three-layered caching system that's available for all websites hosted with us. It offers Nginx direct delivery for caching static content like images, CSS, and JavaScript files. The dynamic cache layer offers full page caching mechanism for caching the whole HTML of the page. The third one, memcached, caches the database queries. Use a CDN. Now, let's look at how to speed up your WordPress website with a CDN. A content delivery network, or CDN, caches your website's content, distributes it around multiple data centers around the world, and serves your website to your visitors from a server in a data center that's geographically closest to these users. That's especially useful when you have geographically dispersed traffic across multiple countries or even continents. You can choose from a variety of content delivery networks. If you're a SiteGround client or consider switching to us, it's probably useful to know that we have an in-house built CDN, free with every plan. It also comes with a premium version that allows you to activate the CDN for all your domains, subdomains, and parked domains, while also caching unlimited traffic 
plus other extras. Use the latest PHP version. What about your website's PHP version? PHP, to begin with, is an open source programming language for web development. PHP is used to build some of the most popular website content management systems, such as WordPress, Drupal, and Joomla. It's important to make sure that your website runs on the latest stable PHP version available because it can significantly speed up the code execution of your website. The PHP version your website uses largely depends on your hosting provider, including the functionality and control panel they offer. Contact your hosting provider to see what options they have available in your control panel for updating your PHP version. With SiteGround, our clients get a managed PHP service. Basically, every time there is a new, stable PHP version released, we automatically update our clients' websites with it. If you're using another hosting provider, you may want to research and find out what PHP version they're running on. Now that we've gone through all the potential problems, review your report again and you have a much clearer idea of what to do next. In fact, website speed is a dynamic element that changes often. That's why you need to monitor your website speed regularly. As soon as you spot any weak or in other words, slow parts of your website speed report, take timely actions to speed them up. Now that you've learned how to speed up your website and improve conversion, you can go ahead and implement these steps one by one. Don't forget to check your website speed again and let us know in the comments below how much faster your website loads after that. If you enjoyed our video about website speed improvements, don't hesitate to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more helpful videos. See you next time!